Thank you for employing us. <laughs> Very grateful. I, as you said, um, Annette, I was really, really ner nervous. I was really, really nervous. How did it? It was a nervous experience for us. Yeah. How did the re experience make you feel? It made me feel nervous because it was the first time. But excited because I got to try something new. Mm -hmm. And what can you recall uh, um, about our interviews? What what was the hardest part of interviewing us three adults, and what was the best part of interviewing us three adults? The best part was listening to why all of you want to come and be a teacher at Mesh Green but the worst part was to was to pick who was going to be at Mesh Green because everyone was a good one but we had to just break it down to one teacher. How, how, did, how did you manage that? Well, well Mrs Lee came in after interviewing all of you and we had, we had to put them down into a leaderboard mm -hmm. and then the one with the most firsts, and firsts or seconds, and the best with you, will become a t the teacher. I was really intrigued because I'm I'm going to slip it behind the scenes now, which I didn't see. Mm -hmm. How did you? How did you devise? How did you create all those questions for us? Mm. Oh, we like all the school counsellors. They like brought down questions. And Mrs. Weberston and Mrs. Hamilton chose the best half of oh. six. So they didn't make the questions by you? No. I thought the questions were very, very good. And and intelligent. Intelligent. Some, some were quite hard as well. Really you had to really hard. think about it. They, they were really amazing. challenging. Yeah. yeah, they were really good. And they were all really good. What were, what were some of the questions? Um, why... Why do you want to become a um, <coughs> teacher or just teaching assistant here? Oh um, I remember one that you asked me is if you could make a club up, um, after school club, what would it be? And I said, hmm, what do you think? And then I said, gardening. And they all went, yes. And I thought, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought, oh, that's good. That's a good sign. I remember one of mine was, what was your favourite subject? What do you like teaching the most? And I said, art. I love being really creative. And you all, some of you was like, mm, very good. Yeah. I remember asking you, you asked me if I had anything to ask you. And I asked you what your favourite subjects were. And lots of you surprised me. Lots of them was maths and science. Really hard subjects. Mm -hmm. Really hard subjects that you came back with that you enjoyed here at Marsh Green. I don't know if this is a question I really want to ask, but do you feel you made the right decision <laughs> with us now? Because are, are, are we doing what you chose us to do? Yeah. 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 You're doing a really good job. Oh, oh thank that's you. nice. How, how do you know? Because every time we either walk around, we always see her either working or or just planning for for like the next lesson. I've yeah. heard people say, "Oh, this is the best teacher I've ever had." Oh, yeah. Happy. Wow, that's so nice to hear. Oh. So was it down to you the final decision? Do you think that it we was, got the job? It, it was. It was down to Mrs. Lee. Mrs. But Lee, but she had, had a big, weird. massive <coughs> input. Because mm. we did the voting who we thought the best and Miss Lee took it into her, her decision and then she decided. Right. Did you agree with the adults? Because they interviewed mm. us and then mm. you interviewed yeah. us. Mm. When you came together with the adults, did you agree? It was quite different. Was it? it was a lot different, the answers, what they got from the adults to us. Mm -hmm. The answers was a lot different. Oh, so our answers were so the questions and the answers were very different <coughs> in the interview. But um, what did did your choice of teacher match the choice of the adults? Sometimes. Sometimes. How did you solve out a disagreement with um, the adults? We knew that um, Mrs. Lee trusted about that. So. How did you know? 
Because like we see we see all these teachers now and we're like, oh yeah, Miss Lee chose a good choice. Um, and usually also whenever we say that this teacher was a really good one, Miss Lee said, Oh yeah, I also said I also thought that this teacher was a good one too. So your opinions matched? Yeah, most of the time it did. Most of the time the opinions matched. What if they didn't match? Did well, you have to prove to do you have to prove to Mrs. Lee? Did Mrs. Lee have to prove to you? Her, um, when we interviewed one for, I think it was for, a, it was either a teaching assistant or a normal teacher. One of them, when they was with Mrs. Lee, was really outstanding in the, in the clear voice. But when they came to interview us, it, they, were, they all went dead shy and dead nervous. They were, and they only said a bit, a few. Yeah. I was more nervous in front of the children I was. than I was in front mm. of the adults. Mm. When I walked in here and all of you were sat around this table, I was more nervous than I was walking mm. in to see the adults, see the head teacher. Mm. Yeah, because yeah, I thought this was more important almost because mm. it was coming from you and I was going to impact you as a teacher and I thought it was very important to impress you. Mm. So I was very, very nervous when I came in here. We had we had two audiences to think about. Mm. You know, we and for ultimately, you know, like you said, it, it's so important that you were part of that process, make that choice yeah. because it's you were with day in, day out. Yeah. And it's your opinions of us that matter and we want to make a difference to your learning. So that was why I was so nervous. Mm. Have you got <coughs> any um Memories that have stuck in your mind from the the process from through the interview process if you've done that think do you know what that memory will stick with me because from that you've learned something from that uh, it's a, uh, there's been a part of it that you felt really empowered by and you've made a di you've made a difference to my screen. Well, when we interviewed one of the teachers, there was applying for another year two. There was um, one of them brought in cards mm. and then you then you had to take them, then they had to tell you what what is that part of his life. Ah and so that mm. stuck with you. So so why was that so important to you? Because it got it got me to know more that more of the teacher than any of the, any of any of the others. Mm. Uh -huh. Yeah, because like he because he every teacher was like talking about like what they would do, uh, what they think about the kids. Mm. But he was like talking about the kids and the um, himself. So is that something that you, a quality that you would look for in further interviews? Mm -hmm. Well, what he did was he was well, when we did when we started off with the interview, he gave us a couple of things, and then when we talked about the subject, he said he liked maths because he invented um, a math scale where it was um, spicy, super spicy, and chilli hot. So you had different stages of questions. Chilli hot was like a, like if the children like knew the subjects and uh, that was a challenge for them but mm -hmm. then like spicy hot was a bit more challenging and then like like hot was like oh yeah they can um, do this but they need a bit more work on it so that was something that you liked yeah how could you take <coughs> that and use it at my screen. Mm. Did you like it? Did you? Did you want to teach you to do it? You want to go through? Maybe that's something you could collect. Like, it's a loop forward. To your mm. Yeah, and, and, and ask for that. If that's something <coughs> that you want to my screen that will make a difference. A better difference, that's something. I think we already do that, but ah. she doesn't really like call it that. She like gives the ones that 
like she like does this like prior learning test. Mm -hmm. So like and then and then the children that like get free marks, they put them all together and like put them on one table and then like if we do a different subject she does the test and then we get like four marks or you put them on a different table and then like everyone's in the like the same like challenge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because when we did maths, <coughs> we did our prior learning, <coughs> and the people that were struggling, really struggling, they would work with Mrs Kelso. Mm -hmm. And then the people that got it would get a bit harder of work, and the people that didn't get it, they would work with another <coughs> teacher. But the people that really, really got it got really some hard questions to do. Mm -hmm. So you like being the challenged, just... don't you, at Marsh Green? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you got any sorry? Have you got any memories? I remember away? when I when we interviewed you <laughs> you, <coughs> you came in with a big book with this girl that you worked with before and also some sunflower seeds. You opened the book and showed us like this giant uh board that you had and with I wanted I don't think I can remember what it was. But it was really good and colourful. Mm -hmm. I remember being really nervous, but out of all the panel, you had this really smiley face, and I felt you were being really kind to, to um, calm my nerves. I remember to keep looking at you thinking, oh, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Look at yeah. that smile, it's all calming. They all like introduced yeah. themselves as well, didn't they? When we sat down, they all introduced mm -hmm. themselves, what year they were from. Yeah. I was surprised how grown up you Much all were and how professional mm. as children you all really were you took it very seriously and I yeah. I was so nervous and you were you really were interested in what I had to say it was really really good brilliant does anybody has anybody else got anything that they'd like to add that we didn't talk about mm. would you want to like Work in like a different class and have an experience in a different class or stay as you are? I think because, I mean, I want to stay at Marsh Green forever, it's like my home. And I think that actually I feel so supported at Marsh Green <coughs> that I'm not scared to try a different class because you might get a little bit nervous about moving up to another class and a new teacher. Well, teachers do the same. We get nervous coming, going into different classes and teaching. But actually, at my screen, I feel safe that if I'm struggling, I can always ask Mrs. Lee or the other teachers for help, and I know I'll get it. And I know nobody will think, "Oh, Mrs. Blair, you're wally." <laughs> I know that I'm here to learn as well. I'm always learning and picking things up each day, or you know, practicing things. So. The answer is yes, because Marsh Green, I feel safe to make a mistake but learn from it, then I feel safe to challenge myself and move classes, yeah.